Good afternoon, family. This is Miss Norma. Our reading for today is titled Kitty. Oh, Kitty, Kitty. Uh, our scripture lesson is John chapter 14, verses 1 through 3, which reads, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Amen. That's John 14, chapter 14, verses 1 through 3, and this is in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Kitty. Kitty was the name given to the weak-looking stray kitten that came into our yard. My two grandchildren, Demetrio and Elena, fed and nursed Kitty until she became strong. This kitten soon became a part of our family. She was very playful and happy. About two weeks after a living with us, a dreadful accident occurred. Kitty fell and died. There was not a dry eye in our house. We all wept as we said goodbye to Kitty. What an unwelcome interruption to our happy home. Everyone was now so very sad. Gloom was everywhere because our beloved Kitty had died. It was never in God's plan for sadness and death to be the experience of his children. Our pets and all humanity were made to live forever in happiness. An enemy entered our great, big, wonderful world and spoiled it. God made all things bright and beautiful. All creatures were made, were made to live forever in happiness. An enemy entered our great, big, wonderful world and spoiled it. God made all things bright and beautiful. All the creatures were made for our happiness and joy. But our joy will return when Jesus puts an end to sin and death. After that, no one will, will die. We will have new pets and they will never die. All our plants will live forever too. Roses will bloom eternally, never to fade. Everything will be in perfect harmony. Animals that are now harmful will be nice to be near. No one will be unkind. No crime, no sickness, and no crying. Heaven will be perfect for everyone to enjoy. And best of all, we will see Jesus face to face. The earth made new will be so beautiful, I can hardly wait to go there. The Bible describes it in such a beautiful and magnificent description. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9, and that's in the New Testament. Heaven is such a safe place that no kitten will fall and die, and no humans will get sick anymore. Let's accept Jesus into our hearts now and look forward to when he comes again. Amen. Amen. Our reading today was written by Jacqueline Hope Hoshing Clark. Amen. Abba Father, we thank you for the hope and the gift of a great reunion. Never to see death anymore, disappointment, sickness, or sorrow. No more crimes. Father, we are so thankful and grateful that you have made provisions for us, Lord, that you've taken care of the ills in this world. 
You've taken care, Lord, of all the deception and the things that the enemy of our souls has done, Lord. And you took care of them. And Father, yes, it does seem sometimes, maybe to some, that it's taken too long. But Father, give us the faith to hold on and wait for our change to come. There still is no God like you. Father, where we might be faltering in our faith or maybe just trying to believe for the first time, Father, I pray, Lord, that you would give each individual listening the gift that they need to be able to endure and to go forward and learn to trust you with their lives. Help us, Lord, to be living epistles in our community, Lord. Help us, Father, by the life that we live, that it would draw someone else to Christ. So thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, family, for your time. Thank you for stopping by. Um, by his grace, I will see you on tomorrow. And remember, we are doing our reading for uh, the Proverbs. This is day 14, so we are a little less than halfway through. Um, you can record them if you like and play them back for yourself. You can read them um, in the Word of God. You can choose um, whatever Bible that you would like to choose to read from. You can listen to it if you have it on um, some type of audio, uh, CD or something like that. Um, but just enjoy the Proverbs and um, at the end of this month, um, on it'll be probably on a Saturday night um, that we will come together and share um, how the Proverbs, how they have um, strengthened you or help you to make some better choices through this month after reading them. And I will tell you, um, if you're doing the readings this month in the book of Proverbs, uh, don't let this be your first time reading them because you need to refresh some time. <laughs> and I'm telling you that from personal experience. I learned some valuable lessons. Um, I learned them before, but I didn't remember them. And then I had some experiences and I went back and I um, reread um, some of the Proverbs and I was like, ah, I wish I had done this. So refresh yourself in it, but enjoy and be blessed. And by his grace, I will see you on tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon, everyone. This is Miss Norma getting ready to sign off. And remember... I love you, but the Lord loves you best. And by his grace, I'll see you on tomorrow. And let's see if we can remember again um, our verse of the day, Psalm 1914, which says, Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Blessed afternoon, everyone. This is Miss Norma signing off. And remember, I love you, but the Lord loves you best. And also, for those of you who are new, uh, and we do have a new family member. His name is AJ. Welcome, AJ. I met him today while I'm on my field trip. So welcome, AJ, to our YouTube uh, channel. Um, thank you for being a part. And um, I extend the invitation to you to also pray. Become a part of the Prayer Warriors. It's nothing official. You ain't got to fill out no papers or anything. It's just that whatever time of the day that you think about this channel, if it comes to your mind, just say a prayer for it. Bless, ask the Lord to uh, just bless this ministry. And also, uh, we like to refresh the prayers. So people will watch this at different times of the day. Um, this particular video may not be seen maybe a week from now, a month from now. But my prayer is always that the Lord will refresh the prayers that have been prayed and they would um, be presented anew to whoever is listening during that time. Have a good day, family. This is Miss Norma. I'll see you on tomorrow. Amen. Today is Tuesday, the second day of the week. Have a, oh, have a tremendous Tuesday. Amen.
See you later, family. This is Miss Norma signing off.